G'day viewers, my name's Graham Stevenson and I'd like to invite you to come on a journey of creativity and learning and adventure through the series Colour in Your Life. There's an artist in every family throughout the world and lots of times there's an artist deep down inside all of us as well. So grab your kids, your brothers, your sisters, your aunties, uncles and mums and dads and come and see how some of the best artists do what they do. Okay, folks, well, we are in Melbourne for this particular session and the very talented lady, uh, she calls herself an abstract colorist and uh, also, also one of Australia's leading singing coaches from the Jance International Singing Academy down here in Melbourne. And we're also part of your gallery, which is the York Street Gallery as okay. well. Yeah. So we're very privileged to be here. Uh, Lynn Jance, welcome to the show. Thank you, Grant. Great mm -hmm. to be here. Now, Lynn and her darling husband, David, have been uh, singing coaches for some years now and actually brought some of the most famous Australian singers to literally the premier of their careers, haven't you? It's been quite amazing. I mean, Delta Goodrum for a start, who, uh, who literally has gone overseas to go on to fantastic accolades. Uh, but your, your journey, as far as an artist is concerned, really came about because of uh, illness many years ago. Very much so, yes. And it's, it's sort of developed with your, your spiritual relationship, your relationship with God. That's right. And it's brought you to literally a place now where you, I think you, you paint your, your destiny in these stories that you have within your work. Tell me a little bit about when you first started this. I mean, you literally ended up almost dying, didn't you? Uh, yeah, I've had, um, I, you know of one, but I've had two or three uh, near-to-death experiences. Mm -hmm. But the one that I had seven years ago was, uh, yeah, I thought that was it. Mm -hmm. I was leaving this earth. Uh, many years ago, um, I was a chronic a sufferer. I was in and out of hospital, um, having operations every eight months, mm -hmm. on Lyrica, on every medication you can think of. I had a walking stick, got told I couldn't have kids, I'm trying to jam it all. Mm -hmm. um, a doctor in, in uh, Caulfield said that uh, I would eventually be in a wheelchair by the time I'm 40. Mm -hmm. Do I tell my age? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, she doesn't look her age, I can assure you of that. It's pretty amazing. So. And um, he suggested that I use art as a form of my healing. Yeah. And uh, it has been amazing because that led me to something higher. Yeah. I'm a great believer in Jesus. Mm -hmm. I've got a relationship with him now. And I think uh, my inspiration comes from that. So, you would call yourself an abstract impressionist colorist. That's it. Would that be the best way to put it? Abstract colorist, yeah. Yeah, lovely. Fantastic. <laughs> so, well, you're going to do a small piece for us today, and then we're going to talk a little bit more about your journey and the amazing things that you do for the very talented people right across this country. And you and David are, you know, the, the pinnacles, the king and the queen of of teaching these young people how to change their lives for the better under any circumstances. And you are such an optimist, which is one of the most wonderful parts about you, is that you inject that into other people. Mm -hmm. And then they go on to create amazing things for themselves. Well, I'm gonna step out of shot right now, and I'm gonna let you start what you're doing, and then I'm gonna bombard you some questions as we go along. Fascinating human being, I mean, been through a great deal in her life, to come to a place where she changes other people's lives for the better, and part of that is her art as well. So I'm out of here, and let's see what you can do. Okay, Lynn, will you really paint um, from a great deal of feeling and spiritualism? Mm -hmm. And you describe that there's a place you go to called your secret place. Lovely place. Which, yeah, which, we all which, should go there. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, I agree. But it enables you to produce the pieces that you have over the years as well. And um, you know, obviously you've got fans in Milan and Rome and Singapore and New York and you sell internationally right across the world. And how do you actually start one of these pieces? It's almost like you have to clear your mind, singing our techniques, emotion-centered singing. So therefore, I can't separate that from painting. An artist is an artist, so whether you sing, whether you paint, to me, they're actually the same. So you find that spot and, and be still and let the paintbrush do its work. 
I thought today I'm going to start off with a, a purple and uh, we we'll just put a little bit in there. So you were originally born in Egypt as well? That's correct. Greek origin. So from um, so your family background is, is, is Greek, is that correct? Yes. I was born in Alexandra. Okay. And um, yeah, I came out here in 1957, which gives away my age, so you'll have to work it out. You were, you were one. <laughs> I was six months old, <laughs> and this is crazy, but I actually stopped breathing on the on the boat as well, which is all in my book. Yeah, yeah. your um, book is uh, A Journey from Heaven to Healing. Yeah. I suppose you could say it's a really an inspirational tale of, you know, how you, as a young woman, were so sick, and then found the spiritualism that you have these days in conjunction with that art, mm -hmm. and how it's all come together and developed into the woman that you are now. And obviously with what you've been through, I can see that you do give a lot back to society as well with, you know, helping these young people develop their, their own skills, which I think is wonderful. It's very important to give back to society because of my near-to-deaf experience. I know that I'm here for a greater purpose mm -hmm. and I live each day very grateful that I'm alive. You know, you're obviously very influenced by your spiritualism and your beliefs. Yes. Um, you know, I would tend to think that that would uh, be part of the creative path as well. But I mean, your work's incredibly vivid. I mean, it's and it, it's, it's, it's complex as well. I mean, it's, it, it, it's simple in its form, but it's very complex in the way that you put a lot of these together. The color range is just amazing with what you do. We've got a piece called uh, Alpha, obviously the, the top or the, the number one. Uh, and then another piece called Birds, which is just beautiful too. But I mean, the, these all come about with the techniques that you're using right now. Yes. You just sit down and you start to evolve it and then yeah. the, the picture talks to you in the end. So tell me more about <clears throat> the this, this singing coaching as well because you and Dave really are incredibly well recognised in this country mm. for bringing young people to X Factor and The Voice and obviously working with, with Delta. and. We consider this as a, a lovely little family yeah, and I enjoy, enjoy teaching. I teach on the Gold Coast, I'm the master coach there. But I, I love also doing my art in my spare time and obviously I've um, been a professional artist for over 20 years, exhibited all around the world and, and very blessed that I've had these opportunities that have come my way. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Your work's dynamic to say the least. Uh, you've got another piece called Burning Bush, which I think probably has a relationship to uh, Moses, uh, from what I can imagine. <laughs> so, <laughs> But, it's um, a little bit like when I had my encounter, yeah. I came back and everyone said, wow, Lynn, you look younger. I said, yeah, I had an encounter with the burning bush. <laughs> well, there's another piece that you've got called Dividing Line, and that's got a number of crucifixes in it as well. Yes, three. And, and funnily enough, you've actually got the, um, the shape of the nautilus shell or the spiral in there, which is the golden mean. Yeah, that's, that's interesting. A natural part of nature as well. Well, part of... Um, the beauty about working with your husband and all these talented people is you've got your, your gallery and your studio and all of these um, great talented singers and musicians as well in the one location. But it's, there's, it's sort of like a, a labyrinth, it's like a rabbit warren. There are rooms everywhere where people are, they're all soundproof, where people are playing the piano and they're learning how to what? sing and mm. it's amazing. As soundproof as you can make it, but it's it's interesting when you hear when it's all going together. It's music there, music there. And art somewhere else. Art somewhere. I'm in this middle room painting well, and enjoying it. <laughs> the, whole, the whole of the top floor is a gallery as well where you've got yeah. all your beautiful paintings. And um, people come in here and they... Well, how that eventuated, Graham, was that I was getting people from China and, and, and other people that wanted to view my work. And you know, you, you, you ha when you exhibit at other places, you're only given a week or two. And then and I felt it was hard to get taken to my studio. So I thought, well, I've got the space, why not start an art gallery? And so it's been amazing because now I can also have the opportunity of sometimes allowing others to come and exhibit. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, it's mainly my work. and. Um, yeah, so now I have a space and my curator, she just sets up appointments and um, so I've had a few people from China and 
that who have come to view my work. Mm -hmm. And uh, also it's been good for those that actually can't come on the day for the exhibition and they want a private viewing. Some people don't want a lot of people around, mm -hmm. um, especially in the industry. And I've had a lot of industry people come through and they are well known and they don't want people in their faces. So they want to look at my work and then, you know, purchase. You know, there's a few people that do have my work that mm -hmm. are in the industry. Yeah. But you also work in watercolours as well. Yeah, I've worked in all mediums. Yeah. I found the oils were, yeah, you, it takes 12 months for the oils to dry properly and and it can be harmful. I felt the breathing sometimes. And so I, yeah, I'll use it if I have to. And I'll be honest, the oils is a great medium to work with, but I've, I've ex established a technique with the with the acrylics and I find they're easier to work with, dry quicker. Mm -hmm. And then because I, I, because I exhibit regularly, I need my work to dry, you know, and I can't afford to wait for 12 months for that to happen. And, and a lot of my, the students actually can paint themselves. They're actually artists. So if you can sing, you can paint. It's because it comes from that special spot that I talked about. Our technique is emotion-centered singing. So therefore, when, when you're painting as well, you got to be just allow this brush to do its work and um, enjoy it while you're doing it. You know, every piece that I've personally done, I believe they're quite different. Mm -hmm. I have started now doing limited editions of my work. Um, I've started only doing one to 30. I don't know, down the track, if I get into other galleries and things like that, I might, you know, it might be one to a hundred, but at the moment there's only two pieces that are selling now, which is Flight of Topia and also Into the Light. Mm -hmm. So they can purchase that. And you've got a piece here called Azaya, which is a really powerful, striking painting. What's the story behind that? Well, I used to teach Azaya. Azaya started with me here in this very studio. Yeah. Um, and. Uh, I was very inspired by his background, he's Aboriginal, which you all know, mm -hmm. and um, his father started telling me about his stories and being managed by Christine at the moment, and um, this young boy was singing, used to start singing off in church, so a lot of also what we teach is our, our, our emotion-centred technique is based, it's gospel based, like all the great singers in the world, Elvis Presley, Winnie Houston, you name them, all started from the church, you know, if you all realise that. And uh, he got uh, prophesied or that he would become quite well known one day and that God was going to use his voice. So I was, I was meditating on, on what he shared with me. That came out and um, yeah, so it's inspired by Isaiah. It has been exhibited overseas as well. and. Um, yeah, and I've brought it back because, uh, again, sometimes I exhibit and I don't actually sell them, I just exhibit them in Miami and a few other places around the world. Um, I've exhibited Next Gallery, uh, Ross and Chimbro as well, and uh, these are some other opportunities that are coming up in Singapore and around the world. But obviously Australia is my home, so I like to think that York Street Gallery can be available to the world and they can come and visit us. Of course, they yeah. get singing lessons at the same time. Yeah, oh yes, definitely. <laughs> you don't have to be a singer to learn to sing, by the way. And I can see with most of this piece that you've been using an angle brush to do what you do. I enjoy using angle brush because you can do, you can paint in different ways, in different styles, like that way or that way. I've always used a very fine brush, so that's why my paintings can take quite a while. Mm -hmm. I have to walk away from them. So everything you see in the gallery, believe it or not, is just with this. Yeah. You know, um, yeah. Sometimes I might use a fine one, yeah, which we might use today, uh, depending on what I'm feeling. As you were saying before, it's, it's very difficult for somebody that Mm -hmm. um, paints very much from within and you sort of get lost in the moment to being stuck in front of a camera <laughs> trying to convey to people what you're actually doing. And uh, trying to listen to you too, Graham. It's yeah, interesting. Sorry about that. That's okay. You're wonderful. My voice even annoys a lot of the public out there too. No, I'm feeling very relaxed so I'm able to paint in my secret place. 
And you've also got another piece here called Epic Flight. Now, on a lot of your, your pictures, you actually have um, the meaning associated with the work as well. Yeah. In all of the triumphs and tragedies of life, it is still an epic flight. We run the race with endurance full of hope and expectation. Yeah. See, there's a lot of meaning in everything you do, which is wonderful. I also do it so, well, everyone has statements to their work, but it gives the viewer an understanding where the artist is coming from mm -hmm. and what her work means. I mean, a lot of my work is always always related back to the human condition. We're all searching for meaning in life, so um, whether we know it or not, and um, those that know about my book, which I think Graham will explain that you can buy it online, I had an encounter with heaven, and when I came back from that encounter, I looked at life so differently to what it is now. Um, colour, people, personalities, what am I here for, what am I doing? A lot of people are wandering around and they actually don't know their purpose, they don't know what they're here for. So we all need a saviour, we all need to tap into another realm, whether we believe it or not, because there's more to life than just this. Well, in saying all of that, uh, I think the people should really have a look at your book as well. It's been very influential for a number of people that have read it. And they can go into your website at lynnjansartgallery.com and you can go in there and see Lynn's gallery, her exhibitions, just the amazing story about this lady and what she has done with art and music over a number of decades. It's, it's pretty incredible. So go on and uh, have a look at what she's got in there. Okay, well I just saw you pick up a fan brush. Love my fan brush. You love your fan brushes, do you? Yeah. I'll see a few fans in your work. Yes. But what are we going to do with that? Well, uh, it's interesting with a fan brush, so you can put all different colours. As you can see I've got a very messy palette here, but mm -hmm. then that's the way I paint. And I just use my brush to it's pretty dynamic. start yeah. doing. And it might not stay like that. I might go over it again, depending on what what I'm feeling. Right, Lynn, because this comes from within, very deep within your secret place, mm -hmm. um, we're going to leave you alone for a little while and then let the cameras capture the movement of that brush and your expression and uh, see how this thing develops as we go along. That's awesome, I love that. Thank you so much. Thank you. So what's actually happening with my painting now? I can, I'm feeling because each time you, um, each time the grain um, throws a question at me, uh, my motions change. So the colours begin to change. That's what painting is all about. Like abstract, you just kind of it's emotion centred. So you you tend to go with what's ever happening in your life at that time. Sure, sure. Yeah. Yes, it uh, comes very much from the heart. Yeah. That's the best way to describe it. Yeah. Yeah, you've got a very powerful piece as well called John 3.16. Ah, yes. Where he gave his only begotten son. Wow, well, Graham, you know that piece, yeah? A very powerful piece. Yeah. Well, that actually won an award and was exhibited at Chapel on Chapel. You've got an, another couple of pieces here. I'll just bring them up as well because the place that you are with this painting, I mean, they're sort of starting to take on a, a similar yes. aspect, but you've got one called Purity which is just great. I mean, they really are dynamic pieces. And then there's also the piece Remnant. Uh, Remnant is man's search for meaning and inner space. Yeah. A really dynamic looking piece of work. Or well, some of the ones that you've got in the gallery are, you know, eight foot by six foot. Yeah. They're quite large pieces, so. I love the piece as you're going up the stairs. Mm. And some people, it's really funny. Sometimes the students go upstairs and we have an exhibition and, and they said, we never saw that piece. It just shows you, where, you know, people are on a on a mission, 
and they don't stop to look. As I was saying to Graham before, do we stop and look at the sky? Do we stop and look at the trees? Do we stop to look at the colour? Do we stop and maybe observe a person? Or do we stop and... So sometimes my philosophy is like, uh, one a, a very well-known uh, preacher, Crawford Ola, has always said, you need to remove yourself out of the center. When you remove yourself out of the center, then you react differently to other people. Because a lot of people just suffer a lot of deep root of rejection. And we live our life, rejection, 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 someone's hurt me, someone's hurt me. And they don't realize that maybe that could be us. And so when we remove that piece of rejection out of our heart and remove ourselves, then we're empty in, in a way that we can respond to people in a better way. Sure. Yeah. Mm, makes a lot of sense. Mm. And as I said, I mean, you, your work amazes me, but there's one called the mysterious tangle. <laughs> and it's a tangle and it's mysterious. <laughs> this is a bit of a mysterious tangle too. <laughs> this piece is becoming a very mysterious tangle, so but we're just trying to figure out, yes. <laughs> it's the idea. I mean, part of colour in your life is going through the, the individual journey of each artist. Yeah. You know, it's sort of what brought you to where you were and so I've learned from, you know, my upbringing that really at the end of the day, we're, we're not living for ourselves. We just need to know that we're here for a bigger purpose and we need to go out there and find, find out what it is. Um, I'm blessed to be able to paint and sing and teach and I love my job. It's not a job. <laughs> I enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So probably won't get this finished today. I want to take it home and give myself some time and just see what needs to be finished because, because Graham, you've been talking to me. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> I think I've got all my emotions in this painting. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'd love to do that. Okay, that's a great idea. But because of the, the beauty of editing, uh, you can see the finished piece now. It's uh, really, really well done. And, Thank and you, I think Graham. that you have your emotions and your intentions well and truly in the right place for the rest of the world. Thank you. So Graham. thanks so much and for having us here. Yeah. All right, folks, from the York Street Gallery in Melbourne and the Jens International Singing Academy as well. Awesome. And we had a great day here. Beautiful facility, so so well set up for, for art and obviously teaching these amazing young talented people in Australia. Uh, Lynn, fantastic. Fantastic. Thank you for a great day. We really Thank had a lovely so time with you. Thank you. Very, very spiritual lady, uh, very well meaning towards life and everybody else around. It was a really, really pleasure to have you here. Thank you, Graham. Um, also, uh, Lynn's uh, book, A Journey from Heaven to Healing. Uh, if you'd like to go into Lynn's website, that's uh, lynnjansartgallery.com. You'll be able to go in there and see the book. It's actually a beautiful book, really well written as well. So uh, pop in there and then go and see some of Lynn's work. It's really quite amazing. Um, very, very talented woman, abstract colourist. Impressionist, abstract. Impressionist as well? Yes. Okay, we can do very that. Very much so. <laughs> but uh, we're down in Melbourne for another week. Uh, great place to be. We love the people down here as well. Come and see us at colourinyourlife.com.au and our Facebook page and subscribe on our YouTube site as well. We've got hundreds of thousands of people in there these days. It's amazing. But we're going to head out of here. And until we see you guys again, remember, make sure you put some singing and some colour in your life. We'll see you next time. Bye, Bye now, guys. <laughs> Bye.